The country's first inmate execution by way of nitrogen hypoxia is set to happen tomorrow in Atmore. Today, the U.S. Supreme Court denied Kenneth Smith's request to stop his execution. You'll recall that Smith argued it was unconstitutional for Alabama to attempt a second execution after the first attempt by lethal injection failed back in 2022. This court's decision means Smith's execution remains scheduled for tomorrow. The method to be used is called nitrogen hypoxia, which is being protested here in the states and abroad as it is untested on humans. We reached out to Professor Deborah Denno at Fordham School of Law. Here's what she had to say on the method. Nitrogen hypoxia has never been used in the history of the world by any country or anywhere. So that level of unknowingness is problematic. The one controversial thing they're using is a what should be a sealed mask on the inmate's face. And uh, when I say what should be a sealed mask, because there's great concern that the mask can dislodge or open up, in which case the nitrogen gas can seep out. And there are two problems with that. Number one, it won't uh, kill the inmate as quickly as it should, if at all. But number two, if it leaks out, it could be a danger to two other people who are going to be sitting in the room, one of whom is the spiritual advisor and the second of whom is going to be a corrections officer. And because it's odorless, they won't even know they're being exposed.